I was just saying that really changed with you over the last couple of weeks and a good idea to kind of do this video to show the world as much as they are changing and growing in their vibration so are we so mm. tell the world Raph tell the world how, how it's changed for you over the last few weeks what's happened to you let's tell you how it started yeah, but uh, a person I was introduced to it. Well, I, I know how it's. I, I know how it's started. Yeah, but in the world needs to know. Yeah. So, yeah, a, a person was introduced to our group, and she disliked yeah. me. It's a friend. We won't mention names. I wanted to kill her. <laughs> I've never had that feeling ever before. But someone I didn't know and uh, whoever introduced, well, when, when I was intro she introduced to our group, uh, I, wasn't, I was very angry. I didn't want on the group. But the problem is, because I was that angry and I wanted to kill, I wanted to know more. It intrigued me why I had this feeling deep down that I really did not like her. And uh, eventually uh, we were uh, introduced by our friend Sophie who brought us to the group and uh, as we would get to know each other we started becoming friends which was very very strange and what she did she sent me a keyword uh, through a message a chat message and it broke me it absolutely broke me in tears now I've never cried before I didn't cry when my mum when my mum died, I didn't cry really when my wife died. But what she said in that minute conversation at five o'clock in the morning, it broke me and I cried for 50 minutes. I've never done that before and I didn't know why I was doing it and I was panicking because what did she do to me that could break me? And what she did is she opened my emotions, she opened my heart and everything just came out uh, my personality was completely changed as you know my ego which sometimes you might see comes out still was put in check it was like i was embracing it instead of hiding it or letting it run my life and all of a sudden i saw that everything i did was for me i didn't really even the me what i was wording was like not real everything I wrote on that um, messenger group was not real it was just fake it was just like uh, it was just like saying love and light without meaning it and that was 11 days ago so it's 11 days and I've got to it this stage now my ego soon went when that went first my emotions went and all of a sudden I started feel I didn't feel guilt but I thought all the people that I've hurt without knowing it, like my daughter, my oldest daughter is 25, and uh, I wasn't, we used to, she's very similar to me, so she's one of these that doesn't give up, give in. She's right, and I'm like that, I'm right, and it's full stop. So we used to argue a lot, I used to call her names, in, innuendo names that weren't real, yeah, it's, yeah, if you know what I mean. And when I came to the conclusion that I was well wrong, because we were equal wrong at it, but I'm the father and I'm the mentor, so I'm the one who should show her the way. It shouldn't be me. It shouldn't be her. She should, I should, she should be looking up to me and I should be sorting it out. And I actually sent a text and I just apologized for everything. And I just, I just said, basically, I love you. I've never done that to any of my kids because I had no emotion. And she actually met, we talked later on and she said, I had to stop the car because I just burst out crying. It's as well, and heavy weights released off my uh, shoulders, off her. Now on me, I've said I did this to all my kids. I even did it to my sister who, uh, who was the only one who gave me proper love when I was uh, one because she's seven years older but that's because she's seven and I was like the new thing so I phoned her to say that I've never said it I'm 
really, you know, what you did when I was a child was really the best person to give me love. And I just want to give a thank her. So everyone I talked to started crying. So I, 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 everyone I talked to cried, my sister cried, me too, everyone, well, most people, me, me other daughter probably, she's a bit stronger for that sort of thing. But it, every time I actually did it, it lifted a part of me. It, if you are nasty with anyone in this world and you keep it, you, you're keeping it and you basically, uh, what's the word, uh, it's yours and you're making it bigger. Uh, so you, I can't even say the word, oh, it was a cracking word. Um, you've given it life, haven't you? You've given that nasty part of you that life and it'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger. You own it, you've, I've owned it. That's it. The word is own. I've owned the nasty side. But during the time, what I noticed every day, I was feeling very lighter. And our friend told me that I've got to be human. So when I have an headache, I normally stick my two fingers out, release it, and it's gone. <laughs> this time, I had three days of headache, and I've never had a headache before, so it's even worse for me. <laughs> and I, I wanted to cheat, but I thought, no, keep it. But let's be let's be the human for change. I had eight, I had a lot of pain in my back. The back pain was that much. I think it was a con, is it Kundalini uh, leveling or something or, or something something was going with that, and uh, that was unbelievable pain. And I wanted to cheat them back. Oh, no, she told me she actually opened me up. So whatever she says, because she opened me up, I had to go with it and I had uh, tingling all over it. I felt like I needed an healing session with someone. I've never had that before because I've never really been ill. I'm not being big or anything. If you're really good at healing, you not, don't become ill. I had pains everywhere, headaches everywhere. I had hot and cold flushes, and I've had that for about a week. And I really, about about six day, I didn't want it. I wanted to get back to what I was. <laughs> because it was that bad it was really that bad but you probably noticed all of a sudden my chats started becoming different i started becoming more uh, lighter more loving i'd say yeah and it, it was unbelievable yeah the heart space it, has opened up you mm. the, the word that she said the word that she do you want to know the word that she said that broke me of the that key was, word yeah I devote love as pain. That was what, so anything to do with love was pain. And because it, love was pain, uh, I blocked it all. Now, after about five or six days, there's a lot happening here, a lot of days. She actually said that my wife had died, uh, what he'd releasing. She'd done something wrong, which we all do, uh, because of her friend's advice. And because what her friends gave her advice, she believed them. So she basically had a test and she did the wrong one. And I didn't get over that. I didn't get over that period of my life. And she wanted releasing. Now, my wife as well had a skeleton in the cupboard. I'm not going to tell a lot, but she had a, an abortion before she met me. So I had to tell this daughter that, look, you're my daughter now. Mm -hmm. And that basically, I, I, the, the spirit of it actually visited me and I just started crying. It was so emotional, it was unbelievable. My wife then, uh, she went, but she actually went into my son's dream. Uh, next day, my me, me son saw my wife and he said, but you're dead. And then she smiled and just disappeared. So that was like saying goodbye to him, which was great. Uh, so me and this friend, told us every dark, every secret we've ever had. I'm not saying dark, but every secret, we're, we're a bit embarrassed when we're dead, dead young. So I'm not going into it, but every time we did it, we released something. Something was released and it carried on and on and on. And in the end, after about day, about eighth day, I released most of all mine, I think. Then I got the downloads. Now, my emotions were blocking most of my downloads over the years. I've had a lot, but a lot of them were blocked. The whole lot came in on the, I don't even know the day, on the Friday, I got about a thousand. And what happened then? 
uh, everything became uh, so clear. Like, if, if you lose summer, you wonder where it is. I don't, I know where it is. <laughs> it's in the head. Oh, it's over there. It can be, I can really put it in a stupid place, but I'll remember where it is and I'm thinking, where's that coming from? I'm not even thinking that, it's just coming into me. And all of a sudden I, I get like messages. Now, I mentioned to you that we've had a past life. Did you get that message? But I, we were, get, I did get it, I don't think I read all of it. We, we were brothers in a past it. life. Oh, that's was, what I remember now. It was medieval times, and one of us killed the other one when we were playing. Now what that did, that the person that died had karma for the next life because it didn't know why it died, it, it was pain. But the, the main one, the one who'd killed, had depression through his life because he'd killed his brother. So, on here, live, oh. uh, I think we should just say, just absolute it. Uh, how do you absolute it? I had a little prayer thing, but I haven't fucking done. But I, if we forgive each other, it just takes the karma away. It was an accident at the time, just clear it. And we can do it, we can do it with energy, actually. We can connect and do it that way, can't we? Definitely, yeah. Who killed who, though? Because I don't remember that lifetime. I don't know. I got that. When I was talking to you, actually, because I, I made a slight, I, sometimes I make a little slight comment, and them slight comments is because of that past life. Because when I do that, I think, well, where's that coming from? I don't know where that's, that's not me. And I got the vision then. Because I've got a lot of the knowing now, I actually got the vision of a little play sword fight, and we died. Now, you probably didn't get much with that because it didn't really, it didn't really, hurt you that way but obviously it hurt me a lot more okay so can we just release it with our energy is that the best way what do you think absolutely mm -hmm. yeah i think so definitely hmm. yeah shall we do it yeah yeah why not Get it with us. go on then you start i don't know how to do it <laughs> It's really quite simple. We just cool. connect yeah. heart to heart. And then it's what you're feeling in your heart, whether it's, um, you know, whether it's forgiveness, isn't it? Regardless of which mm. one was which. Yeah. I kind of feel that um, I probably killed you by the sounds of it. So, mm. because of what you're feeling, because I'm not feeling the same things you're feeling. So, um, mm. let's work on that. Yeah. And so it's kind mm. of. I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting dead. I'm getting dead up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready? Okay, good. Okay, my heart's connected to your heart. Yes, I see it now. We were very young at the time, though. We're only kids. Mm. You, were stand mm. you know, you you were standing on the bloody stone. It was accident. It was accidental. I was stand you were standing on the stone. We, we were we were we were um, wearing those like tunics. I can see. You were standing. You split and you fell into my sword. Can I be honest here? This is true. I've seen that. I saw that. But somehow that created some sort of God knows what I created. But yeah, it was an. I, I did say it was an accident. I know it was an accident. Definitely, that's, a, that's amazing because I've seen that myself. Yeah, yeah it was an accident. You mm. slipped. The, the rock was actually quite slippy. It's quite a big boulder. You mm. so, can see this big boulder, really old, almost like a um, circular shape, which is really strange or not. I've mm. seen that before. And it's like, like you can see it had limestone over it, and it was wet, and you slipped on it, and you fell, but you fell straight into my sword because I was pointing my sword up at you, mm. and you fell straight into it. But the reason why you resent it is because it was an experience that was denied to you. Mm. That's why. An experience mm. that we were having together that was mm. denied to you, but and that's why you resent it. 
The reason why I said it was an accident is because I have actually seen what you've just seen, which is quite amazing. It's a shame I didn't write it down. I can't get approved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was an accident for sure. Yeah. It wasn't wasn't like deliberate or malicious in any way. It was something what, unexpected. What year was that? I know it's medieval, that's all in it. I think 1300, but I might, that might be wrong. Because I'm getting 1605. Kids don't really know the age of year and everything, do they? So. I'm, I'm getting 1605 for some mm. reason. That's the first number that pops into my head. Mm. So I run with it. 1605 is what I'm getting. Okay. For some reason. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it was. Uh, we were really young. We were like like a darkish kind of almost blonde ish hair but not really blonde it was like a dead blonde we were white as well white young children as well I, I did say um, that. I did say yeah, in these kind of w- tunics I did say I was 13 but I think I wanted to be 13 so I think I was younger than no that. well I think way younger than that yeah I was. way younger no yeah. I think it was more I was pretending more, to I think it's more like ten, or ten. Yeah, I think more yeah. that age. Yeah, definitely. But, but but I think I was pretending to be my brother. Oh. You know, I think we had a few. So I was pretending, unless you were. I was pretending to be you. It's I don't know. But uh, why did we have sword fights with real swords? <laughs> we were um, we were allowed to do that because some it was some there was some reason why we were allowed to do it and others weren't we were i wouldn't say we were royalty but we was something to do with that and mm. so we had we always had access to um the armory in some ways um and so we used to like sneak out and play with them we used to play with them we weren't meant to but we sneaked out and we were play we would play with them and um the guards knew about it they were fine with it they were like mm. you know you know, go ahead, lad. You know, go, go and have some fun. You know. Yeah, I wonder what happens to them. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd dread to think. <laughs> mm. I dread to think. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was that's another one gone. Yeah. Mm. Did, did you get that uh, video off uh, that message off sort of thing about what what Raph did? <laughs> about what I did, sorry. What Raphael did, I used to like going into, I used to get Sophie out of the lower dimensions and I got, it, I got her once and she got, I rescued her, but I said, hold on, let's stay down here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got a story that you don't know. Tell me. I, I've always said I had something weird about Michael. I've always yeah. got this and I found out why because we had a little bit of a fight because he thought I had gone dark and we had a fight I hadn't gone dark I'm one of these that likes to go in the dark but it's not an addiction like, like some people like it and I'm not like that I'm, I'm like I'm a neutral I, I go anywhere if you know what I mean we had a bit yeah. of a fight one of us nearly died <laughs> not what I say no but instead of uh, instead of me killing him, we gave each other an hug, and that was a little bit of a uh, that was that was a bit of pastoric. Uh, angels aren't uh, friendly all the time, but it was because I was going in the dark too much. I was going into the lower dimensions. I was quite enjoying myself there, but I was actually I, I was getting used to the dark energy, so I can fight. What you know, do worry work. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I got, that. I got that you were really young because the way I'm seeing you is almost like young lads, like oh. um, like 17, 18 year olds still learning about your craft. That's what I'm seeing yeah. between you two. So but yeah, that's interesting. The, the person I got connected to, uh, this Ivan's told us that we are not twin flames or anything like we thought we were. We're something new something different and when we combine the power is really it's massive because we interlock so we're separate entities but we interlock and that's why uh, he actually said that sometimes i'm more powerful than michael so my ego's great on that <laughs> not very often but <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> i know i'll accept that one <laughs> i know
That's good. I love yeah. that one. Very but, good. But yeah, we, we're still sorting everything out. So uh, I feel really light. I feel great. Uh, I've, I'll do. I'll do a few videos. I'm a different now. If you see the others, I was just playing. It was just me, Joker, self. Yeah. Uh, but this is a bit more serious. The awakening yeah. is. Uh, I have been through loads of awakenings. I don't think they were that good. But this one, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you don't want it. <laughs> I can't go for it. Flush it. It's because I don't know where it's going. It's ah. Uh, oh. And uh, what Ivan said that me and his friend, we were like interwoven, we get together when the earth needs us. So this is the best time, and I suppose it does. This is why we're here. We, the yeah. planet needs us, you know. We look yeah. at everything going around us, you know. There's some countries already saying, you know, people have to have vaccinations or they can't work, you know, and already that's being rolled out. We can see Britain's already ordered 90 million vaccines ready for what half the people are already cured with it but it's happening so, so it's being rolled out are you, are, you, are you at the front do you know what when I had the COVID-19 virus because I wanted it I wanted to experience what it'd feel like mm -hmm. I kind of felt like I can manipulate it. I kind of feel like I can burn it out. Just mm -hmm. like, and I also feel the same with the actual vaccine. I feel like I can burn it out. I feel like it doesn't matter what they do. It's all pointless because mm -hmm. we're such high vibrational at the moment. And there are many that are so high vibe, it won't touch us. Mm -hmm. It won't make a difference to us. You know, they'll try, you know, they, you can't just, you can't, you can damage things, but you can't destroy things. Can, things can be regenerated. We can regenerate ourselves. We do this every, we do this once a year, don't they? The, the scientists already say, look, once a year, everything in your body is regenerated. So you've got new mm. blood, like new tissue, new bones, new everything, you know, mm. it's all been, it's all been regenerated. So I kind of feel the same way about, you know, COVID is like, you know, if you think it's going to affect you, then it's going to affect you. And if you don't think it will affect you, then it won't. It won't affect but you. That was one of my worries because I'm human for while well, I'm going through the awakening. I don't really want that at the moment. No, <laughs> give, it, no. give it a minute. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 106 centigrade burns everything out. 10 minutes. 10 minutes and it burns everything out. I'm, um, I'm doing hours of that at the moment. I literally, mm. my, my body is so, so warm at the moment. Like I know it's quite warm in Britain at the moment, but even when it's not, like my temperature's like, like through the roof. It's like so high at night. It's burning everything out, and I can't. I'm, I'm you know, it's very much like you, Raph. I can't, you know, I can't even eat things anymore that I used to like enjoy. Like I had uh, on your when you were having your session with Deb, I had that was my first can of cherry coke that I've not had for like months, and. Um, I wasn't enjoying it. I could taste the chemicals in everything now. Everything. I, I yeah, I haven't, I haven't had a fizzy drink in eight days. Yeah. I haven't had a Red Bull, no energy drinks, nothing. The only thing is I had a little bit of Diet Cola with a sun comfort watching the great game of football when we got beat last night. <laughs> I would have preferred no cola after watching that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So, Everything yeah. you eat, Everything you drink is just tastes so different. Even mm. juice, like even even certain fruits, you know. Um, like I had an apple. I've got like an, the same apple, a pack of six, you know. Mm. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll eat one, and it's amazing. It tastes so so good. And I'll eat another from the same pack, and it just tastes not great. It's you know mm. chemical. I can taste everything in it. It's not good. So it's like chuck chuck that because that's no good that's my body saying nah you can't have that and have another one and it's brilliant and it's very much like that you know it's like you know you can have things from the same pack but it just doesn't necessarily mean your body's okay with it you know your body is telling you well the worst thing out of everything is when i had that bacon balm i had one bite <laughs> and i had to give it the dog that is my favorite need why I couldn't anything else at least ice cream's okay, but anything else, but why? Now, I've, eat, I've eaten uh, curries. My, my uh, sons think I'm, I'm ill. They think I'm dying because I don't like curries, but I'm eating curries now. Uh, pasta, I don't like pasta, but I'm eating them now. Uh, bacon, I'm not eating now. 
and like I'm not eating chips very often now. I'm tending to eat uh, salads. They really think it's something really. They think I've gone to the doctors and I've got something hidden. <laughs> <laughs> so especially I'm telling I'm telling my daughters how much I love them when I've never said it before. And next week I'm actually eating food that I've never eaten before. And uh, like the other day I had steak. Me something. That's dear. Why, why have you brought that? I just fancied it. It just it flowed with me. So I thought, but yeah, anything I didn't like, and I like most things, especially bacon. I don't really like. I haven't eaten. I've only I haven't eaten bacon, bacon for eleven days since, since this happened. I just hope it adjusts itself and it comes slightly back to normal. I know. I know. I know. I know. It won't. It won't because you'll be able to feel the vibration of that particular food mm. that you're eating, and it's a low vibe. All you know, all meat is low vibe. You know, it's got a lot of chemicals in it. It's 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 you know, it's been killed animal. You know, and if that animal died in pain and suffering, you're going to feel it. If it died happy, which most animals don't, then um, you know you'll feel that too. But generally, every time I eat anything to do with like fish or meat, mm. or after after my you know, after my vibrations got really high, like I can feel it, I can feel it, and it makes you feel mm. crap. And you know what? The thing, I think, the what I noticed is, is it sometimes when I'm guided to eat chicken just to lower my vibration because it gets really high, and sometimes, well, majority of the time, the chicken's always been slaughtered, and so it's never been very happy in that way. And although it's a lower sentient being, there's still energy and vibration attached to it. And so when I when I eat it, it's it's okay, loads of vibration. But actually, my vibration stays low until it completely comes out my system. So actually, it's come completely out of my system in order for me to get back to being that high vibe again. So, yeah. so you know, with some people it's 24 hours, some people it's 48. It just varies on your system. Um, but for me, it's 48. So it takes two days, you know, for it to travel. So um, I'm like that for like two days, and then I'm back to being high vibe again. But um, but yeah, it's you. You will feel it. You will feel it. You could do it with everything. What what, I, what I've done? Yeah, a little energy ball like that. Give love into it, a loving memory, both of them, and then put it in your food. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it's slightly low. It, it lifts it up a bit, so it's a little yeah. tiny bit of a treat. So I, I do actually. If you give love into your food that you're preparing. It's a better taste. It really is. Anyone should try it. I, I do. I do that with my daughter's food. So mm. she has like she loves sausages, and I don't really like her eating meat. But it's her choice, and I'm not going to stop her. So um, I, I, yeah, I kind of bless that food with love and light and pure source energy. You know, when mm. I'm, you know, when I'm cooking it, or when I've finished it, or whenever it might be. Yeah, and um, mm. I do that every time because obviously I don't want her to get the negativity from it and the chemicals yeah. and you know the, the the bad stuff from it. I don't want her to have that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I bless her food every day. Every, anything to do with meat, I always bless it, always. Mm. Yeah, because I kind of feel like salad and stuff like that. It's quite high vibe anyway, like apples and all that. Right, so, mm. so I, high vibe. I, I enjoyed the weekend in Scotland that you opened <laughs> Sophie. Mm. Uh, and I got absolutely, <laughs> she completely changed. And I, I, I'll be honest, I thought, what have you done? But you just lifted the film over the wall, and uh, I was healing people in the other group, and she was getting jealous because I wasn't. And I was thinking, we are spiritual. What's what's wrong with this? And uh, it was very very difficult, and uh, very yeah. and like this friend and her and like Sophie got us all together and me. It is a bit like we're reacting to each other, so. There's all the jealousies there, and it, this is all karma coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. So if he was a little bit, I mean, you know, when you when you 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 will you'll be able to relate to this, Ralph, because I'm sure you've had many experiences like this. When you when we do the video connection, it's powerful. When we do a voice connection, just a audio only, it's powerful. But when we do a face to face video connection, it's powerful. But when I meet you in person, 
it just blows you out of the water. And this is, you know, I knew at the time, because obviously, do you remember when we were in the car park and I did did what I needed to do, you know, and you were like, you know, you're like, it ain't going to work, it ain't going to work, you know, it's not going to happen. Did you remember? Yeah. Did you remember what I said? Do you want a duel? Did you remember that? I said, do you want a power duel? I wonder where that came from. Oh, yes. Yes. I do remember that. Yes. That's right. That's right. I don't know where yeah. that came from. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we know now, don't we? Um, yeah, so when I finished, you know, you were, you were saying to Sophie, do you feel any different? And Sophie was like, no, I feel the same. I'm like, just wait, just wait. And then it changed. It always does. It always does. Our vibrations are really high. This is what we came to do. We came to yeah. ca- catalyze people. We came to, like, change people we started we start people on their journeys on their awakenings you know Mm -hmm. and we're not the only ones doing this you know there are so many people on the planet already doing this you you know uh, you know a a phrase that they say or a look that they give or a hug or a touch that they give or you know just even being in their you know presence you know is enough sometimes so um, there's so many people millions and millions of people on the planet doing this mm-hmm. and we're all helping each other to awaken right? we're helping each other to catalyze one another to get higher into our vibration you know yeah. so yeah. so we can beat the system here on planet earth that's what it's about <clears throat> this one world government is definitely being pushed forward you know they're definitely going for it they want everyone to be vaccinated they want a one world government you can see many of the stores the big stores you know we're all closing down they're all shut you know people losing their jobs left right and center that's happening that's a reality you know we're becoming a cashless society a lot of places you're going to now will they will accept cash but they prefer card all of a sudden you know i think it was uh what was it i think it's domino's domino's was saying don't accept any cash everything's got to be done by card cashless society there we go this was my show isn't it Ten years ago, this was mentioned, wasn't it? Yeah, this has been mentioned by the greats, isn't it? You know, mm. so many people have talked about this. David, I've just been so vocal about this for such a long time, and here we are seeing come seeing it come to fruition. You know, thing, mm. microchipping you. You know, and we've all seen the microchips. You know, mm. you breaking up is. Yeah. Are you there? All right, just tell me when I'm back. You need it. I think you're back now, yeah. Your face is still there. Uh, yeah, I'm well, here, man. <laughs> uh, can hear you. Is it? Okay. It's interesting we start talking about microchipping. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's like, goes a bit screwy, doesn't it? Yeah, shall we go off uh, that subject? So before we get frozen. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, the, inter- exactly. interest- the interesting so thing. Mm-hmm. Out. Yeah. The interesting thing with Sophie, who brought my mirror self, feminine side, to me, that I couldn't tell who she was. You've got a difficulty. You, my friend, who is very. knows a lot. And I think she's just hidden from us. Because if we knew, we'd back off. And that's why. Yeah. So do you get that, Nilesh? That Sophie's Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like I, I kind of feel like Sophie's blocking, and she has been blocking for some time. And I think she's very reluctant to come into her knowing, and she rather let others tell her about um, what's going on with her rather than kind of discovering it for herself. So my role when we met up in Scotland was really just to break that open. And that's exactly what I did. I just took it away. And then she had no choice. She couldn't hide behind it anymore. She couldn't hide behind it. She had to be opened up. She had to release it. And I just I just cracked open her heart. That's exactly what I did. Mm. And um, it's what she doesn't realize that it was, it was a combination of both that did it. So it was a combination of my energy and a combination of my voice and the words that I was using to be open. Keywords. Yeah. Keywords. I've used keywords. Keywords are quite clever. It's like a download in a word, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I like it when I'm giving someone a keyword and I know I'm giving a keyword, but they don't and they think that's no, nothing. I think, yeah. wait till it starts working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, right. yeah, you're getting it now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So yeah. words, are, words are powerful. Vibration is very powerful. Yeah, definitely. And we can use that to help those you know that really need it mm. so yeah 
it's so so important all of it's so important but yeah I mean, Scotland was brilliant. Yeah. It. it was great spending time with, you know, with all of you, really, and, and having that time with you guys, you know, because I don't think we'll ever have that again. You know, I think the next time it might be different. I don't think, I'm not, I know I'm not definitely going back. I was told that was my first and my last time to Scotland and I'm not returning, um, you know, but I had a different reason for going to. There was many reasons, not just one. Meeting up with you guys was obviously, you know, really wonderful. But Scotland was also calling me. Um, the land itself was also calling me. Um, so mm. I felt I felt like that my energy and vibration just, you know, needed to be there. You know, imbue it just like many others get called. You know, to certain locations and certain places. And you know, it's because our energy is required there. And this is not just me. I'm sure many people have been called to Scotland, and their energy is also needed too. You know, it's not just about a particular being. It's about all of us. We all have a unique vibrational energy signature, and sometimes the land requires that. It requires it. It asks you for it. That's why you get called to these places. Do you remember when we were next to each other on that rock and you could just feel the druids and everything it was and I saw them obviously and it was just beautiful. You could have stayed there all day <laughs> which I think we did. I mean, that, that, partic that particular place, I mean that, it's interesting because we travelled around that site quite a lot mm -hmm. and nothing felt as powerful as being on those rocks. I mean on those rocks was just just pure power. Yeah, I, think I was. I was like, if we stayed there any longer, my kundalini was just going, and it was all my kundalini is already open, mm. but I could feel it like you know vibrating higher and higher and higher. So I was like, if we stay here any longer, it's gonna go like really, really, really kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, it was really, mm. really good, really, really, really good. Yeah, very powerful. Love that. Yeah, I think I think it was a Druid portal open, and I think the Druids got killed by Romans there, and I think it was left open, and I think we were just connecting to it. Yeah. You froze. We didn't say anything bad. I agree with we? that. I agree. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, we didn't. Uh, we didn't say. We didn't. We, we didn't say goodbye. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You froze it. Yeah. I, oh, I can. Mm -hmm. I don't look frozen, but you're telling me I'm frozen. I'm well, back, yeah. Wait, you, you, you were lit up. <laughs> oh, come on, please. Come on. Oh, perfect. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but you froze back and still hear you, so that's fine. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed with Sophie okay. does, she, she brings people into the group uh, without asking yeah. but she says the face lights up. So that's, that's one of her abilities. She sees people who have got it by her face, which is quite about. But I do think that me and this friend are blocked from her because we don't know the story. And if she wasn't blocked, we'd know the story and we'd probably get out. <laughs> yes, I would be. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. I think it's, you know, I, I love the surprise of it all. I try mm. not to pry too much and find out too much. I know you guys love that, but I don't. I love I, I, I don't. Love, I, love, uh, I love the love. Mm. I mean, mm. this is what you... Amazing, you know. And then when you tap into the energy, it's like, duh, it was there all along. Like, did you not see this, 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 and this? And like, yeah, all right. <laughs> but you know, it's nice. It's nice to kind of be surprised by all. It's like, you know, it's like nice. I love the journey of it. I love the surprising aspect you know, of the journey. You know, I did it. I did it apart from these last eleven days. <laughs> the last eleven days have been something that's new to me. That. Uh, I thought I'm in control, I know everything, I can tap into this, tap into this, and all of a sudden, bang. And uh, I didn't know really who it was, I suppose. Mm. I, I was a bit, I was very fake and shallow before 11 days ago, uh, because my art was blocked and everything, so I wasn't giving anything out, really. It's very, uh, I think it's rough, it's very hard to be genuine, you know, mm. I, I, I had to work very hard at that, you know, and I had to go through a lot of ups and downs and I had to really face, 
you know, the human being and the personality and the traits that I had many, many years ago. I'm talking 10, 15 years ago now. And、um, it was a bit of a harsh reality. So I went through all of that. And so that's why what you see is what you get. It's,、mm. it's not different, you know? And、mm. there's a, there's a, it's a way of being. You know, it's、mm. a way of being. And not everyone can do it. You know, and people are learning to do it. And this is what you're learning too. It's about just being who you are and being the vibration you are and, and not, not kind of hiding behind anything else, you know. Because、mm. the vibration itself is immense, you know. That's、mm. vibration, as you know, it's, it's, it's immense. We work very closely together with, all, with the other four, you know, archangels we work together and we're the ones that kind of, you know, You know, get to know the jobs and what needs to be done. And we're very active a lot in many realms, not just that realm of、yeah. heaven, many, many realms. And so, you know, this is what makes us us. This is why we do what we do because only this particular vibration can do it. You know, if you add something to it or take something away, it wouldn't be the same and it wouldn't work. You know, I'm、mm. very clear about that.、Mm. I'm very clear about that. It has to be a certain vibration in order for things to work, you know. Um, so, yeah, I kind of feel that、um, you know, things have changed with you big time. So, I don't see it as in a bad thing. I see it as in like a, just a, a progression in your journey. You know, it's good. And you, you know, for a period of time, the ego you had was needed. You know,、mm. Fighting demons, as you and I both know, because we've both done this many times over. We've come across, I've come across some real darkness, and you've seen the same darkness I've seen. So, you know, when we, when we see that level of darkness, you know, we know what it takes, you know, to stand up to that level of darkness. We know what kind of、um, vibration you need to be. Because you can't, you can't be not known in your vibration to be in that level of like de- demonic energy or low vibrational energy, whatever name you want to give it, you know, whatever.、Um, Well, it, it, can, it can get a hold of you, can't it? At the end of the day, if you、yeah. haven't got that, if you're weak and you're addicted, sort of thing, you, you can get taken over, and then they've got you, haven't they? I suppose.、Yeah. They've yeah. got you, and our source. <laughs> you've got to be the source, yeah. You've got to be the source, and if you're not the source, then you're right. It will, it will dominate you and take you over,、mm. and you know, and you, you will, it will control you. And this is exactly. What we see, you know, is exactly what we've experienced. So, yeah, definitely. And I think for a period of time, you needed that. But also, I know that that's what you were going through. But I also know that. Because I've done, you know, I've had attachments and I've taken them and got rid of them, you know, and, and that's just done through light, through anything else. Yeah. Which was where、well, I can remember a p u l l again that was done.、Um, and、uh, it's, just an, it's just a way of doing it.、Mm. Right, wrong, it's n e e d to you or what you want to experience yourself, you know, in,、uh, to expand your consciousness and, and your awareness. So, you know, it's all, it's all cool, right? It's one of the、mm. what it's about. And you've changed so much. I mean, like, I think back to when I first met you and how different you, know, you were then to how different you are now. And not just changes in, change in,、uh, in regards to your vibration, because that's changing you and it's changing your human 3D self. Not only is it changing your personality, but it's also changing you physically as well. Did you know? The light, yeah, bones to light, isn't it? I know that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I work that one out. <laughs> that's why I'm dead light. And that's why when I talk,、yeah. to, I talk to someone and they're dead friendly and they help me. And I'm thinking, that never used to happen. And like a, a, a customer owed me some money. So I just wrote、yeah. a message. Normally they ignore it. p h o n e me back in three minutes, paid me the next day a thousand pounds. And I was thinking, wow, I like this part. <laughs> This part, this part, I can handle this part. And like when people、yeah. say, I, I have a chat with them now, I, I'm joining the energies of the, them and me and, and, and giving them, do you know what I mean? It's, it's quite personal. It's very, very weird now. Where before, it's, I just l o c k up everyone.、Mm. Yeah. What, what you're experiencing now is what I call collaboration. So, you're collaborating with the energy and the vibration you see before you rather than trying to control it. That's the、mm-hmm. difference.
So when you collaborate, so much better, so much better. The the experience for both of you is so much better. What you create together is unexpected. It's surprising what you can create together, and you're really quite amazed, you know, as、mm-hmm. as the creation that you're creating because of both of your vibrational energy co-creating this together. And the whole point of this, Raf, is、mm-hmm. one consciousness co-creating as one consciousness. That's what we're doing. That's what we're aiming for. I was in Tesco's looking、yeah. for my webcam. Everywhere sold out, and I said to this staff, "You know, have you got a webcam?" And they said, "It's over there." And I said, "I thought there, but thank you, you know, thank you very much. We appreciate it." Went off, and then he said, "Hold on, hold on." And he, he chased me up, and he says, "Have you tried?" And I was thinking, "This is a staff member at Tesco's. They don't help me like that normally." <laughs> <laughs> they normally think that's job, but that's the impression now that they want to help you. They want to get what you want, and it's an unbelievable experience.、Yeah. It is. It's so wonderful, and you know, it's also we've you know we've always been here to lead by example. Always, we、mm-hmm. don't get it right. You know, understand that although we're angelic in vibration, you know, in soul and part soul of of that. We also are three D human too, and we have messed up. I've messed up loads of times. You know, I've done many not so nice things in my life. You know, but it's all about understanding that there's a, a soul part of you, and then there's a human three D part of you, and it's trying to、uh, amalgamate the two. You know, it's trying to amalgamate it into one. So, so trying to make sure that the soul part, the angelic part. Almost like takes over the physical 3D stuff, and this is exactly what you're experiencing, Ram. Your your soul is overtaking your 3D, you know, your 3D experience now. And so, what you're experiencing now is that people do want to help, and do people do want to give you love, and people do want to care because that's what you're emanating. You're emanating that yourself. You know, like you, it's like you said earlier, it's a mirror, isn't it? Whatever you give out is exactly what's being reflected back to you. You know, yeah.、And、this is this is. What, What's happening, and you're seeing it. People will be like,、oh, "I want to help you," or "Can we do this?" or "Da da 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 da." You know, it's so it's so hard, you know. And yeah, I, I get that a lot, like you do. You know, I'll ask someone for something, and I'm always really gracious and grateful for the help that we get. You know, and the advice that we get is such a nice, nice thing. You know, such a nice thing. And whatever you ask for, you kind of get.、Hmm. You know, it just appears, isn't it? You know, yeah, that's like、definitely. manifestation. You, know? <laughs> you think it, you say it, it appears, and it's like whoa, <laughs> you know. But it's all got to be for us. It's got to be in service to humanity because that's we're angelic. That's our contract. This is what we're about. This is our nature. This is our nature of every angel on the planet. We are in service to every single one of you. This is what we do. This is what we're about. This is why we give and give and give and give and give because it's our nature. This is who we are. We're not here to be a part of the humanity kind of one consciousness. We're here to kind of guide and teach to ensure that it happens. You know, we're not planning. I'm definitely not planning on being on five D. I'm not going to be there.、Um, but I'm planning on making sure that many people reach five D. Everyone will. Those who want to experience it will experience it. Those that want to move on, they'll move on. They've already experienced it many times over. Just like we are, we've experienced this many, many, many times. Yeah, yeah. I, I found out that I had me wings taken off me once,、uh, but I got them back. <laughs> uh, uh, would you be surprised at that? <laughs> Is that surprising? No. no, not at all. I think you've got to reach a certain state of、mm. awareness, vibration, consciousness, whatever label you're going to give it. For me, it's a vibration. Vibration is. Love. It is consciousness. It's all of it. It's、mm. just a different name for it. It's energy, isn't it? We all energy.、Yeah. Everything's energy.、Yeah. Exactly. Exactly.、Mm. Once you reach that, things change. You change. Things that were closed to you before suddenly start, suddenly start to open up. Things that you've always wanted before that you couldn't have before, you can have now because your vibrations changed. I haven't won the lottery yet. <laughs> You never will, Raf. You're gonna have to let that one go. <laughs> that is not happening. <laughs> well, I'm all nice now. It, it should, you know. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. Told you, we're just having. You know that. <laughs> it's not gonna happen for us. Yeah, not for, not for us. That's not what we're here for. So, but yeah, we're not here for easy ride, are we? 
No, we're not here for that. And besides, you won't be able to relate. You could do a lot with it. Mm. You could do a hell of a lot with it. You know, you could, you could set up set up some pretty amazing stuff for sure. But mm. we didn't we didn't come here for that, Raf. You were trained mm. from a child with demonic energies to understand how that works, to battle them, to use these different techniques, magic, to mm. overcome them. You were trained from a child. I was trained from a child with vibration. My vibration had to be mm. high, and I was trained about the matters of the heart and using that, thinking from the heart, being mm. from the heart. I was trained as a kid from this, you know. And um, we've all been trained in this way. There is something that you've been, all of you, been trained in, and yet, mm. and you're only becoming to realize it now, and it's only coming to fruition now. And it's not because you've had all those years of training, you know, the 3D years. It's not to do with that. It's because the vibration is ready for it now. That's why. Mm. That's why you're all coming in online. That's why it's all happening now. Because the vibration is right, and your skills, your abilities, your soul, your heart. Your love, all of that is needed now. This is why everything's set in vibration. Nothing's set in time. Nothing's set in time. Everything's set in vibration. I, I have noticed something different. When I do hands-on healing, I now can use yeah. love energy for the first ever time. And the love energy, anything negative there, just whips wiped out. I, that's a new one on me. I've only noticed it the last few days. It's like uh, it's like another one in the arm. It's, it's very very powerful. So if anyone's got a, a damaged knee and it's negativity and his attachments or whatever's in there, the love in it, the love of it will disperse it, which is unbelievable. Oh God, yeah. The most powerful energy I know anywhere yeah. is love. It's the highest vibration ever. I mean, if you really want to, you know, talk about depths of love, you know, then speak to um, Rachel. You know Rachel mm. Fitzgerald and yeah. you know Inez Inez Dietrich like they have like hearts beyond hearts mm. like ooh, really really incredible and then that's that's coming from me you know I have a very big heart as you know Raph and I have a very big high vibration and it all comes from the heart for me you know always has done and they they are brilliant with it I am in awe of them when they when they start talking and expressing from that from that place wow like you want to know about heart space you want to know about the depth of love and how far you can go they're, they're your people these well, are the people who, who can do it you know 11 days ago I was blocked with emotions no art nothing it was like being the Grinch at the end when his art started <laughs> anyways uh, I can feel something that's me <laughs> <laughs> that's me <laughs> brilliant I love it yeah, it, it's it's the most powerful, mm. you know, tool every one of us has. You know, mm. the Father gave you it to use, you know, mm. and to use for whatever you wanted to use it for. You know, for yourself, for others, for whatever, mm. for planet Earth. You know, yeah, it's very very powerful. I rate it. I rate mm. that more than anything. But then. I've known this since I was a child, you know, this is not anything new to me. I know love is the most powerful thing ever. It's always has been for me. And and in order for you to, you know, use it, you, it comes from your heart, it comes from your heart space. You know, when I say about think from your heart, that's what I'm saying. It's like love, you know, emanates from the heart. Think from your heart. You know, it's like if you're if you're in a situation, you know, and you're not quite sure what to do, then ask yourself the question, you know, what would love do in this situation? Mm. What would love do in this situation right now? The answer will be like that. It'll be, it'll be lightning speed. That's exactly mm. what you need to do. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. I rate it, Raph. Mm. 100, 100, 100%. Yeah, I rate it. Every time. Mm. Nothing more powerful than love. Mm. It can make you, and it can teach you, and it can break you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you block from it, you'll never know one or the other will if you don't exactly. from love then but yeah love is pain a good uh, but i got i think i got that from a few past lives i brought it here and it, yeah. this is one of the things i had to release and the other one is i had to get find well i had to meet up with the mirror of my me the feminine version which i have separate entities but mirror and uh, I, I during this time i think i've told you i've never been scared in my life i've got no fear yeah, I, I have had in the last week. 
fear because I haven't got a clue where I'm going. I haven't got a clue what I'm assisting because I thought I was fully in control. So yeah, yeah I found fear at last as well. Yeah. But it's wonderful because in that chaos, in that disorder, in that chaos mm. and disorder, there is, you know, there is a sense of like peace. There is a sense of kind of, you know, just being. I know from my own past experiences when I've just stood in the chaos and disorder or whatever's been going around me and you know we all feel, we've all experienced this when you just stand in it and then allow it to be there's this like overwhelming kind of acceptance this is overwhelming kind of peace that comes over you it's almost like the more that you experience something the less kind of sensitive you become with it you know you become desensitized to it so the more that you experience the fear aspects of it the less control it has over you mm. you know and that's the key thing you know and it's like it's like it's like love you know the more you encompass well, the more that you bring in your love yeah the more that you bring in into your vibration the more that you emanate it the less you know fear has a hold on you as a result the less that it can penetrate you know that particular vibration you know it has great difficulty the dark darkness already know this they can't penetrate high levels of love it's too hard for them they can't do it they've tried many times you know and so when you get to that level it's like it doesn't it doesn't affect you when your vibration drops which it which it does you know vibration you know your vibration doesn't always all the time you have to work up that um when it does drop then that's when they do get in you know and you kind of manipulate with your thoughts and do you know when it drops when horrible it, things and all the rest of it yeah when it drops is when you go to a supermarket at the moment it drops then because you see all the people and <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. i think i've I think anyone who's high vibrational, anyone who's hanging out, hanging around in public who's high vibe, will be feeling those energies because we're just giving out so much at the moment, you know, mm. regards to the keeping things on an even keel, keeping things balanced, centered, positive, heart space. We're giving all of that out, and so when we go to a supermarket and we go into a shop and we come back and we feel bloody knackered, and yet you've only gone out <laughs> for like half an hour, an hour. Do you know what I mean? It's like well, that's everyone, why. Everyone, everyone's draining, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everyone needs it, you know, and, and people go, oh, well, why, why are they draining me? Why are they, why are they taking it from me? Because you're infinite. You cannot be drained to the point where, you know, um, you, you kind of like can't replenish. You can replenish. You can replenish all mm. the time. You walk in nature. You eat good food. You drink plenty of water. You do some meditation. You mm. do a little bit of yoga. You play around with your crystals, you know, whatever that might be. <laughs> you know, you do, you do a great spiritual energy dance, you know, um, you know, you spend time, you know, in nature amongst the trees and the grass with barefoot or whatever. Mm. There you go. You're replenished, you know, we, well, St. Jacks know this. We understand that, that people mm. will take from us. And we don't have a problem with that. We like, in our minds, it's like, well, we're infinite. You know, there is no kind of, there is no kind of like, um, lack. You know, we're always, we're always channeling, you know, that vast amount of energy is always coming through us, you know, whether it's mm. coming from up above or down below it's always coming through so we just give it away it's you know in in plentiful abundance amounts you know because we understand that it's forever free flowing you know it never stops it's always here it's always here mm. you know and that can be a good thing when people need it when they need that pick me up but it can be a bad thing when people rely upon it mm. you know when people latch onto you and like oh, I need some Raphael energy or I need some metatronic energy you know um, you know even then that's okay but rely upon that all the time it's, I, want, I want more I want more <laughs> you, already, you already have that mm. y you froze yeah. and that's due to video mm. can you hear me I can hear you now I'm just saying that the a lot of people they take okay. more and they take too much and they take too much and it can they can have a problem mental problem taking too much energy. The more energy they go, it seems that the weaker they get. It's a bit weird. I've seen people and old people who, who take too much of very very dried skin because they're, they're vampires basically. They're vampire energy, energy vampires. Oh. Can you hear me? Mm. 
<laughs> I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, you phased yeah. out there for a minute, but I can hear you. Yeah, okay. I think you know, <clears throat> we we came we came here this time to represent the light. We have played darkness many times before, me and you, and many other angelics. But we came here to play the light. We came here to imbue the light and be the light and represent the light. This is what we're about this time in this lifetime, mm. and um, is to facilitate ascension. So, yeah. yeah. You know, there's a you know, it's. I think it's about perception and how you see it, isn't it? You know, that's a mm. kind of key thing, isn't it? Yeah. Because you know, I think therefore I am. You know, we've heard that many times. You know, I think therefore I am. And if you think that, then you are that. You know. Mm. So be careful what you think. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Be very mindful of it. But um, yeah, Ralph. I mean, I'm like, really happy with the way you've changed. And, you know how much you even got younger, man. Seriously, your skin and your face, everything looks younger. Yeah, just keep going, show it. Do you know when I'm doing group chat sometimes? I don't know what yeah. I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm actually learning what I'm writing. And that, that is scary. I normally think, let's think about it. Let's do a little message and just take a bit of time. Make sure it's all. Now I don't. I just flow with it. Whatever comes through, I've got to say, which can be quite. Uh, it's quite strange, actually. I wish I did my exams like this because I would have probably got better results. But that's like so. Uh, it's pre-flowing. It just comes out. I don't even know where it comes sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Am I still here? Mm. I. Yeah, you are. You phased out a little bit, but I kind of got what you were saying. You know, yeah. About free flowing and just going with it, which is a very unusual to you. But, you know, mm. you've been to quite a lot of my videos with Deb. Mm. So you know what that's like. That's all free flowing. None of that's planned. None of that's controlled. Mm. It's all about being in the moment, right here, right now space, you know. And once you're in that right here, right now, everything just flows a lot, lot more easier. You know, mm. you get to, things just come as they should and people get to hear exactly what they should. Mm. Um, and that's exactly what they need, you know, to move forward yeah. in their vibration. Not too much. Mm. True. Little, that's divine, you know, um, information. So mm. you're just getting into the flow of that now, but you will, you, it will just become so natural to you. Uh, you know, you will just go in the flow mm. of it and it'll be easy. It really yeah. is. I mean, when I do those sessions with Dad and, you know, the people that turn up to that, you know, it's, it's a joy for me. You know, I have so much fun. I mean, afterwards of my 3D body struggles with it because when you spend that much time imbuing or embodying, you know, such high light levels of vibration, because obviously I've got, you know, if Father and Metti isn't there, then it's Yeshua and mm. Metti, or Yeshua, Father and Metti, and someone else always tends to turn up. I mean, I know a couple of times the Ascended Masters turned up, all of them, mm. just sitting here, observing, watching, lending their vibration, you know, and I was like, that's a lot of vibration in one room, you know, and there's a lot of vibration in one particular session. Mm. So the spiritual side of me can go on forever, you know, there's, there's no limitation to that. But my 3D body, you know, and just struggle with it the day, the day after I'm lying in bed. <laughs> I need to sleep. I need to, the 3D body needs to rest, you know. Mm. Um, and after that, it's all good again. But yeah, everyone, you know, deals with it differently. And that's the way my body, my 3D body deals with it. Mentally, spiritually, I feel brilliant. I feel really good. Mm. But the body cannot take it too much. It's not ready yet. You know, it's yeah. still not ready for these high vibes. You know, we're working on it. We're working mm. on it becoming more crystalline, but it's not ready yet. It's working on it. We've still got some work to do. Mm. The, the healing event I did, I did a week yeah. ago, which was during the awakening, which was scary as anything, because I didn't know what person I was going to be. <laughs> a week before, I put a plan what I was going to do, and I was going to stick to it. Two days before, I changed the plan to a different one, and then on the yeah. day, on the day, I scrubbed the plan and just, just did reset. I, I, I couldn't be bothered with all that. I just thought, don't plan anything. <laughs> just let it flow, let it work. And uh, that was quite yeah. strange. I would never have done that normally. But, yeah. No, but it was unexpected in many ways because you weren't expecting mm. to have your awakening during this time. You know, you didn't know about it until it happened. And it's like, whoa, okay, this is happening. Mm. So you have two choices, either to continue with the group and go ahead or to rearrange it for another time. But you, you're rough. 
Mm. You're not going to back away and go, oh, I'm not going to not do it, you know, because I'm going through my own awakening and I'm having some things happen to me. Jesus, we all, we're all doing that. There are a matter of times I've done group sessions, one-to-one sessions, you know, sessions, you know, in, per- in person with people, you know, where I've not felt so great or I'm going through a particular, you know, vibrational change, whatever that might be, or feeling a vibration. That's quite difficult because sometimes I feel what's going on planet earth quite a lot actually um you know you can always turn around and you know I mean? not today but i don't want to don't want to deal with it today but we don't we never say no we always do it you know we all no matter mm. how shit we're feeling or no matter what, what's well, going on in our lives whether that's a spiritual mm. or 3d thing i did dismissed yeah. it you're saying what i did me because it was fake it was planned and if you do an event like that, why plan it? Because it's not real, because you, you're basically structuring it. It's better just let it flow, because it flows from a better place then, doesn't it? It flows from your heart, so you, you're giving better vibrations. You, oh. you actually, you're giving yourself to it instead of a planned, fake person. And that's why I, I, I just scrubbed, up, scrubbed all my notes and just said no. <laughs> and I had some difficult questions. But... Yeah, no. I... Mm. <laughs> can't, can't wait for yours. I think uh, uh, <laughs> next week this Saturday coming up is when mine is. So yeah, you, yeah, you can plan all the all the questions you like. But um, yeah, I think you're right. I think what it's teaching you, Ralph, is to be in the flow, to be in mm. the flow of it, to be in the flow of the energy, and that energy should be love emanating from you. Mm. And as long as you come from that space, no matter what people say and do, you're changing their vibration. No matter how difficult the session is, no matter what questions you get, no matter how, you know, um, difficult, you know, the vibrations are of, of those within that group, you know, which we're changing as we go and do this. This is what we're about. This is what we do. You know, we are, we are holding that high level of love vibration so everyone else can imbue it, can take it on board. <laughs> You know, mm. and and kind of do what they want with it. I've said this to you before. My vibration is pure, mm. and it's purest form, just like Father's vibration. It's pure. Okay. So when we do the sessions, like you come to that session and you take on that energy, but it's pure. So there's not it's not with any intent. You know, there's no intent mm. other than the fact that you're getting it in pure, and then you take it on board. Your soul, like amalgamates it assimilates it into mm. whatever you need in that particular moment in time space and reality to help you to awaken or to ascend your vibration you mm. know or it might be send your vibration is you know there's so many things you can use it for it isn't just one way it can be anything you want it to be and so um i didn't realize that i only came into that realization well, probably a few months ago mm. um so i was like oh I wasn't made aware of that, you know, because you just do what comes naturally to you, don't you, Ralph? Mm. You know, we do this, do what comes naturally to us. We don't really question it. We just do it because it feels right, feels like the right thing to do, and everything seems to flow when you come in from that space. And then, yeah, and then I was like uh, uh, talking to Father about it. How I used to do it. And he was like, yeah. How I used to do it. I used to tell a joke to to make people, you know, make him high vibe. Now, I just give the eye vibe. It's different. I, I used to try and make them in that, but now I give that, and that's the difference. Yeah. That is the difference. But this is what angelics are about. The archangels were all like this, you know, and we're all learning about this. Mm. That this vibration is the only thing you've ever needed, the only thing you do need. And so it's great. It's wonderful. Really, really good to see you both, see you and Sophie changing as well so uh and uh, that that friend that we know about who helped you to open up um she still has a download for me so i know if you're i, I, was, I, I, I i've given her a few and i nearly were <laughs> and i thought she has... i thought you're getting them this time not me <laughs> <laughs> she's she's got a download for me and i've got one for her but she's got to be ready to connect because as you know connecting to this vibration is can be a little bit difficult sometimes so mm. she'll, she'll she'll connect when she's ready mm. you know she's what did she say to me divine timing you make your own divine timing you know mm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly 
So yeah, all in good time, I'm sure. But um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't told the enemy stories apart from me uh, waiting. No, I think. Well, th this is why we did the video. The video was to, sh you know, kind of show show the world that you know how much you've changed. Just literally mm. in a couple of videos we've done, you know, how different it is for you right now, and mm. uh, what you're experiencing. And I also think it's really good for the world to see that angelics change too. They also get catalyzed too. We are in this mm. together with you. You know, we're mm. not separate from you. We didn't come just to sit on the sidelines and watch you guys go through it. We came in and we're mucking in with you. We're doing it with you, you know. Mm. And we're not just doing it with, you know, what would what we would see as like you human being souls. We're doing it with galactics, ascended masters, source god beings. We're all here. We're all in the same playground. You know, we're all kind of getting it getting it together and sharing our tips and sharing our experiences and you know trying to get it right and trying to trying to help each other you know um so yeah it, i think it's really good for the world to see this for sure 100 percent. yeah yeah so thanks thanks Ralph, for doing it because you know not everyone wants to show this part do they they don't want to show the the, the this this aspect of it do they it's like when you're a little bit unsettled you're not quite sure what you are what you're doing you know, you're not quite sure whether you're, you know, you're sane or insane, you know, <laughs> you know all of but that. Some of my admissions, it was very, quite embarrassing, and I kept all them, I owned them, and I needed to release them, uh, I put it on the messenger, and I wouldn't have done that no more. That's because I'm now above all that, I don't care about that, it's happened, let it go. Yeah. Absolutely. But, but by telling people that that's what, I, what happened to me, and that's what created my little... If you hold something when you're a child that was very, very bad, it becomes your little demon inside and you always dwell on it and dwell on it, it gets bigger than it. So it's not a real demon, I know it's actually your demon and I, and it's powerful, it can attack people. If, if it thinks it's going to die, it will attack what's going to try and kill it. Yeah. But it, you created it and uh, it's, it's another aspect I never thought about. So. Yeah. 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 I, did, I did have a download to say I was going to have a shitload of the French. I was going to have, <laughs> I was going to have a loaded load of downloads and I was thinking, a load, what does that mean? <laughs> Help? <laughs> On the Friday, I had them um, all coming in and I was going, going crazy. I was going crazy. It was, uh, I thought, what are these? And some of them are like ready to not open yet, but they inside me to open at the right time, the timing ones. So that's because my emotions are now released. And, and I'm gr it was just a Friday, thank God. I, I actually said, any chance you can just hold back a bit? <laughs> give, me, give me a break for half an hour. Just, you know. But uh, I could feel them going. Normally, I, normally I feel them going. When I'm healing someone. I feel them when I'm healing an healer. I feel them going in into them, and then I tell them after oh, you've had a download, they think I it was all for me, and that many. Wow. So. Brilliant. You needed it. You were you were a little you were a little you were a little bit behind. You're catching up now with it all. That's why you're ready for mm. it now. You're ready for exactly what you're what you're here to do. So yeah, I've, I've, it's interesting because I've had I had quite a few um, over the, over the years. So ever since you know when I've been doing the videos and connecting with people, I've had quite a lot, and my vibration just got higher and higher and higher. And then I actually realise now, like recently, that um, there are people as well that I specifically need to connect to because they, they have. You know, a download to me, and I have a download for them. You know, and um, and we, you know, we did this for one another. We we planned this before we got here. You know, so yeah, it's good. It's good. It's really, really good. It's, it can be a little bit overwhelming because I like that too. But you know, it's they never give you more than you can handle. Mm. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, I know. I think I'm, more I've, I've gone. I've gone past the difficult stage now. I know there's more to come, and I know. But the worst part is gone. I know that the worst part is changing completely. There's nothing yeah. else to really change. I'm, I'm fine. With it. I still have a little bit of ego with what to try and play, but I know what I was treating now. I, I don't lock him away in a safe in the head. I let him go free and just say, "No, hold on. I'm in charge here." Yeah, so I've learned that as well, which is good. Yeah. 
the heart it's takes true. over. An example, someone put something on uh, our messenger. Normally I'd say, well, I can beat that. I'll put my crystals on that one. Miles better. But in the end, I thought, no, hold on. Let's see what he's got. He's, he's, or, yeah, he's putting that. Let, let's talk about that. It's not about me. At the, at the end of the day, I'm not competing. I, I'm not in a competition. <laughs> Yeah. The, the ego thing is a very, very difficult thing. I spent a lot of years trying to get rid of it and I do, you know, I don't, I don't give it any, any place in my vibration anymore. It's all about the heart space and where that comes from, mm. what it's about. And, you know, I, I was trained with this younger, just like you, Rap, you know, in service to one another, in service to humanity is something I've known since I was a child. This is something I've always been doing. The work I've been doing, the people I've in, interacted with, it's, it's, it's about helping as much as I can with whatever I can and we don't always get it right and sometimes we mess it up but that's whole part of the plan that's all part of the practice and the practice and the repetition and the repetition and the repetition so you can you know almost master your craft you know and so we've got to the stage we've done it that many times we know what's what heart space is we know what what, what mm. you know we can read people so easily you know it's simple to us because mm. we've mastered it we've done mm. it through repetition yeah. so this is the same thing, you know, it's the same thing. This is kind of what we're doing. You know, we're finally getting to the stage where we've mastered the craft. You know, that ego in my world doesn't have a place anymore. It's, it's pointless having it. It doesn't mm. serve anyone or anyone. It doesn't serve anyone or any, anything. There's no point for me to have that. We did that a long time ago. So it comes from the heart space. That's where mm. I come from with everything now. And that's better. That's better. Mm. Sometimes you know people will say things and you're like you know you kind of think oh you know i should challenge that or i should the ego likes to come in and try and be a part of that but you go you know hmm. get it out and say uh, you have no place in our new world you know i was thinking of someone that i won't mention them. <laughs> hmm? I, <love> it. <laughs> I think you know what i mean the other the other group it's fine now yeah. It's unbelievably good. Oh, wow. Now. That's good. So, uh, yeah. I, and uh, what we were saying, they were saying, uh, it was a few of them, and they, they, they go for demons, the demon warriors. And uh, I said, God, you do a really, really good job. And they, they said, be careful, make sure you're protected. And I thought, ah, oh, I, wa I want to save me a bit. I really do. <laughs> and I thought, thank you very much. I had to just let, let them, I had to let them say, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, that other group's fine now. But uh, the problem was they, they were warriors and they got infiltrated by what they were fighting, which happens, I suppose. And it just so happens that, the reaction between you and the other person created me to go to the other, ju other group. So it all worked quite well. And then I infiltrated the other group. And then all of a sudden, when I sent our group like a healing thing to make sure we weren't infected, because what was happening, there was one or two, and they were sending little attachments to the other members. So when I went in there, I sent what we sent to our group, to their group. And they, it, Ankin said that they peed up. They were peed off from me, and I thought, "Yes, I'm doing my job." <laughs> I did it very. I did it sneakily, smiling. Yeah, I like that. You know, you, that's the other thing you will learn with this new vibration that you're, you know, um, you're assimilating now is that there is this temptation that mm. um, to kind of like to kind of like you can see people in their vibration and you know what the steps are and you know what they're going through and there's a temptation to like bring them onto the next kind of level but they're not ready for that and the hardest part for any ascending masters are really good at this the hardest part is to step back and just let them go through it and walk them through the process rather than you know us kind of guiding them through the process let them experience it and then we discuss exactly. their experience yeah and then we go, oh, okay, yeah, that's really cool. What did you get? Da, 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 da. And then let them go to the next stage, experience that. Because we know what's coming ahead. We can see it. <laughs> and the temptation to also say to people what's coming ahead. I mean, you know what? Some people you can say that with and they'll, they'll take note and they'll, you know, they'll listen and they might learn something from it. And then there are those that you can talk, you know, to your blue.
in the face and it doesn't matter they're still going to go through the process so so yeah that's the next stage is like the hard the hard bit is to kind of keep your mouth shut <laughs> and watch them go through it i've got an example of that yeah sophie I keep on saying, you're not ready yet. Yes. <laughs> you're still going through what Nilesh has done to you. So I've got to wait. If you want, you know, you've got to wait basically for the next stage because you, you, she's still going through it. And time and time again, can't you? Can't, I know, I can't do that. I could, but I, I don't think they'd be happy when they do cheating. It's a cheat. So, yeah. No, let her go through it. This yeah. is the whole point of the, you came for the experience of it. Mm. So why why deny them that experience and why also spoil the the show and the surprise by telling them the ending or mm. telling them parts of the story? It's like no, you know, let them enjoy it, no matter how you know positive or negative it is, and in that vibration, you know, it's all an experience. But one of her lives, she was killing it. She was killing angels, and I was helping her. I wasn't killing it. I was helping her. To, I was trying to get her to the light. I wasn't sure, but she was actually like, you should read Ivan's thing, it's very interesting because a lot of it, I re I do resonate because I've told her and all of a sudden someone, out, she's, he's turned and I mean, he's confirmed everything I've been saying to, to everyone I and mean, it's, it's good when that happens. I, like. I will do. Was it the video thing she sent me, was it the I, voice, the audio I, thing? I think it's the voice one, the voice one. Yeah, 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 I think I'm halfway through it because um, I listened to some of it this morning. Mm. I'd like to finish it, yeah. Mm. Some of it has already been confirmed though, yeah. Some yeah. of the stuff they were saying about you and your friend was like, bang on, weren't it? So, <laughs> I, was like, oh, that was really clever. The funniest one was I was I was rescuing her from, uh, you know, very low dimension, I think, <laughs> you know, nearly the void. And I got to her and I, I said this earlier and I said, oh, let's stay here for a bit. <laughs> It's like an holiday, <laughs> a holiday with the demons. <laughs> I'll go to the bar. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what he said is, I do that, my job better than Michael because Michael's more too, he's too light, he's too high vibe. And I'm one of these that I don't mind going a bit low now and again. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I, I totally relate to that because you know, I'm the one that anchors, you know, Halel, so I understand mm. the darkness very well. I understand what he goes through and we've been there ourselves, you know. Mm. He's high vibe. Although he's dark, he's high vibe. And when this is all over, he gets to come home, which is the mm. best bit. And I can't wait for that day. But so that's what do you call the devil, sorry? Lucifer. His yeah. name is not Lucifer. That was the name that was given to him by the by the Bible, his real name is Halel. Yeah, I thought that because he's quite. Fr I'm still friends with him. He's a he's a good mate. I wouldn't trust him 100. percent He's got too much. Yeah, yeah, but he's okay. People think that uh, you mention a name and uh, no, 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 he's all right. He, he was very powerful. He still is. He, one of the most powerful angels of all. And yeah. he's do, he's doing a, a job that no one else. I wouldn't want to do this job with you. No. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I wasn't allowed to take on that position, and yeah. it was, you know, a toss up between him and Michael. And um, mm. after having discussions with Father about it, you know, we decided that Hale would be the best one because of mm. how high vibe he is. You know, his vibration mm. matches. You know, matches Metatrons and Source God energies. You know, that's how mm. strong he is. So they call him the Fallen Angel. He's not fallen. He chose. Mm. That's the difference. Well, he didn't choose because he really didn't want to do it. The jailkeeper. <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't keen on doing it. Let me tell you, it wasn't just like, "Yay, I'm going to go and <laughs> play the darkness for humanity," just just so they can learn what it is they do and don't want. You know, it wasn't that kind of experience. It was like, it was quite a sad moment to be honest mm. with you. Sad moment to see one of our brothers go and play in the darkness and uh, I think I think when he picked that I was on holiday. <laughs> oh thanks. <laughs> it's an horrible very wise. Yeah. It's an horrible job that I want to Oh gotcha. Yeah. yeah, it's a horrible job. And that's the other thing that people don't get. It's a job. It's a job. Mm. It's a it's a role that they're playing out. It's not well, exactly who they are. Just yeah. like here on planet Earth, you've got all these ascended masters, you've got all these galactic beings. You're playing out a vibrational role. 
you know on on the on the planet stage of you know planet earth you know on the stage of planet earth you know that's exactly what you're doing mm. you're playing out your vibrational role you know on on planet earth this stage that's what you're doing the, yeah. the, the thing with michael though he, he was just too for the light where the one they picked could go in both and that sounds like me so i just did not want that there's no way <laughs> that's just not what it is Ugh. do you know what was the deciding factor well what was that no. the ones that who, who would be damaged from it that yeah. was the, the deciding factor mm. we we were very clear that there are other vibrations we were looking at you know yourself included that the five we were looking at i was close i know that <laughs> yeah we, we we decided that many of you many of the other archangels would be too damaged by it so mm. damaged in fact we didn't know whether we could bring them back from it but mm. we knew with hale with this light being so strong and that the fact that i could anchor him in his light um was was there's a very good chance that he could come back and he, he is coming back because we don't like failure obviously as you know so so when this is coming when this is all over and we've done the earth experience you know and people say well there'll be other earth experiences and i'm like no nope, because that means halo needs to be there for longer and we're not doing that so you know what will happen don't you they'll drug me and i'll wake up and <laughs> i mean why me <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like the, uh, the, the Netflix program where he's got a white. Have you seen, I don't know if you've seen it. The, the devil's got like a white. Uh, he, he's white, but he, he's all demons around him, and he's like, oh god, what am I doing here? <laughs> It's funny because when I watch that show, and I saw, I've seen mm. that show, like I saw it in the um, first time I ever saw it was a couple of years ago in Australia, mm. I think it was. Um, and it's funny because um, with the way the character he plays is not, not really like Hale at all. You know, well, there was the, I know, I know. the fact that he's dressed so smartly all the time. But what I miss out is how smooth. He's mm. like, hey, that was so smooth. He's such a good-looking boy, you know. Um, and yeah, he he can play he can play the charm. He's so so good at that, you know. He's yeah, he's like a master. Well, so I, I was I wanted to actually tell him about that show, but I'm too scared to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd be impressed with that. I don't think he'd be impressed either. <laughs> <laughs> but it is funny. It is mm. funny. Hmm. I like it. I don't... Yeah, it's a good show. I like it. Not quite what it's like, but there are some similarities. For sure. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, families do have to watch it, I suppose. So mm. There's a lot on there that you can't, you know, we know about that. Can't be said. But, um, yeah. It's good. Right. Uh, I think we'll end it on that. It's been almost two mm. hours, I think, we recorded. So. Well, and it's not like our normal one. No, it isn't, which is why it's really important that we did it, Raph, you know, mm. I think it's important, not only for you, but also for, you know, the world as well to see, so, mm. so thanks okay. for doing it, Raph, really appreciate that's, it. No, that's fine, Raph, thanks for having me. No problem. Okay, right, I'll see you. I don't know what I'll be ne like next week, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure no. we'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> right, see you now, Raph. All right, take care. Thanks, sir. Bye.